Robert Dosa Medios here, CoachDose.com. Um, kind of messing around with my new camera, so I figured I'd do a couple of things to post up on the fan page on Facebook for cardio strength training. What I'm going to do is just kind of pull out the valve slides. I'm in my home office here. Uh, show you some of my favorite valve slide moves or exercises um, for the 30, 30, and the 40, 20 um, uh, interval uh, time sets that we talk about in the book. So. Um, these are all patterns that, depending on your fitness level, you should be able to continuously keep moving through that 30 or 40 second uh, interval. Uh, but some of my favorite ones, so let's take a look at them. Okay, so our first um, move I want to show you is obviously it's kind of a full body, it's core and upper body movement with the valve slides. This is the Spider Man push up or the variation. So remember, we want to keep something going here where we can keep moving continuously for the entire time period. So, first. Uh, maneuver is just basically maybe just to do a slide out continuous holding a good bridge position basically four point bridge with the third point always moving next one is to move into more of a push-up variation with the feet planted on the ground the last one is to actually go with the full spider-man keeping one hand home reaching out driving back up Next move is a core move. We're going to have the foul slide under our feet. Basically, two ways to do it, or three ways to do it. First one is from a plank position bridge. Just working that saw as far back as you can, back into that starting position. Try to keep that back from extending, hyperextending. Next one is to add a pike into the saw, depending on your fitness level. And then the other variation is we can do that from a push-up position. Working the saw, and then possibly pulling in the pike into a saw. For any of you who have uh, done any of my hands on to perform better summits or any of the other clinics we've done you know I really love the valve side just because at home on the carpet especially um, you could do a lot of metabolic uh, movements with it so one of my favorites is just to get them under your feet and go into a, just a really really high intensity um, mountain climber move only limited by your fitness in terms of how fast you want to go the other one that I really love, and you know, you guys have uh, if you've done my hands on before, you know I put you through the ringer with these, is, is just to basically alligator walk with them. And then we could do that continuously for the, for the interval as well. Working our way back and forth. If you're in a confined space, or if you have a long hallway, be able to go down and back you know, a couple times during that 30 or 40 second pace uh, interval. So uh, those are just another couple of great uh, in time interval uh, valve slide moves. Obviously, we got we have your 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 pretty popular valve slide moves um, of just um, working on on a stationary uh, front leg, working on reverse lunges, or even moving into uh, more of a, a side side squat move, continuous. Um, those are all types of things that are great for intervals and just stay on one leg for the entire set time portion switch on the next interval uh, those are just basic ones where you can really get a good pace going on uh, in addition to all the other moves that we've been showing um, the valve slide and kind of tying in the core uh, we have just from on the knees position uh, just doing kind of an ab wheel move right with the slides really kind of make it kind of difficult you can change the hand positions going to y's um, go into more of a T like a fly as well so uh, and then also in addition to that while I'm down here with under my hands just a valve slide sled push once again kind of doing a continuous movements um, keep the heart rate up and keep pushing that metabolic so another great great valve slide move is just a leg curl or a hip extension leg curl uh, depending on your fitness level so all we're going to do is just get ourselves set up, valve slides under our heels. And first level is just more keeping the hips kind of low. Still going to get pretty good contraction there, pretty good uh, <clears throat> resistance. But then we want to make it tougher, 
Get those hips up. Drag them all the way in. Push them out slow. Another great one. Uh, the posterior chain. 